Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on this very cute and soft glam makeup look that is late for Valentine's Day, but it's not too late to wear it for spring. So I got your back, Jack. Um, this look is featuring the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, and it's also having, um, I put in a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette because I never made a tutorial with it so I used it today for my lower lash line. Um, it's very soft on the face, mostly focusing on the eyes. I'm really, really proud of how this look came out. Um, I tried a little bit of a cut crease makeup look and I think it came out pretty great. Still suffering from no lash glue syndrome or lashes. So this look is minus that. Um, I digress. You're going to digress. If you got some lashes, pop some of them on. Let's wait for the kids to stop yelling. I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the little notification bell. I still have to figure out if it's over here or if it's over here. So right left for future references. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I hope you guys have recreate this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I definitely enjoyed making it. But I'm going to let you guys go because it's about to rain so I don't have any sunlight. And it kind of sucks. You can tell. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye! As always, we're going to start with the Drunk Elephant Oil. This is a miracle oil to hydrate the face and getting rid of all the dry patches. Taking this NYC brow kit, we're going to use the white waxy part to set all of our brow hairs in place. I've been using this for years and I truly love it. Next, we're taking the YSL concealer and we're going to put that on our eyelids to basically conceal everything as always g40 morphe to the rescue we're taking the bare minerals bare pro foundation um, powder to set everything in place that way nothing creased from the concealer yeah using the patrick star palette we're gonna start working that color in our crease it's a great transition color and we're gonna blend 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 and the real winner here is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. We're finally going to be digging into this baby and you can tell I was super excited. <laughs> Thumbs up to Brianna for getting this for me. We're going to be working that color in our crease and then we're going to just blend it. I love using this Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush to blend it all over. Using those two darker shades, we're going to work that on the outer crease. And we're using this Ipsy, I don't think it has a name, it's just a normal blending brush. This is from when Ipsy used to be my glam bag. And we're going to blend it out to perfection. Then we're going to hit it with a darker color. We're going to work that on the crease, well no, the outer part of the eye. <laughs> forgot my words today and we're gonna take the same ipsy brush and we're gonna blend it out make sure there's no harsh lines we're gonna add a little bit more and just put a tiny bit on the crease and blend it out Then again with our YSL concealer, we're gonna put some on our hand and for the first time ever, I decided to do a little bit of a cut crease. Takes a lot of patience and a lot of time, but I think it came out very good for my first time. Mm. 
Once that's done and set, we're gonna take this cute little pink metallic shade and with our fingers, we're gonna work that all over the lid and the inner lid. Everywhere we put the concealer, that's where this shade is going to go. I found that it works best using my finger rather than a brush. I tried wetting a brush as well, but my finger works best when using this color. So I think it's always better off to just use your finger. And then whenever you need to blend, go ahead with a brush. Here I'm just blending it out with a brush. Finally, we're gonna do brows as always. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. Then we're gonna go with the Lash Food Brow Food Clear Gel. I don't think I recorded that part, but you know the drill. So we're just gonna speed on by. Taking my Benefit High Brow Pencil, we're just going to put that under our brow to highlight. And with our Luxie brush, we're just going to blend it out so it doesn't look like a harsh line. Taking the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer Step 1 Primer. And then a classic, our IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is in the color Light. I had to change colors because I got very pale over the winter time. We're gonna place that all over our chin and our problematic areas. And whatever is remaining on my Smith, Smith Cosmetics 139 brush, we're just gonna blend out to the rest of the face. Taking the Becca concealer, we're just going to conceal under our eyes and anywhere else that there is redness and I feel like I need just a little bit more coverage. And our trusty G40, we're going to use it to blend the face. Taking the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder, we're just going to set our under eyes and our T-zone. The rest of my face, I just never set. Taking two bronzers this time, starting off with the MAC Bronzing Powder in Bronze Matte. We're going to be bronzing up our face and also using this to contour. And just to add a little bit more color, additionally we're going to go with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Using a big blending face brush here from Real Techniques. Then we're going to go with the Becca Shimmering Skin. We're going to use the blush in Amaretto. This is one of my favorite blushes. I'm not really a blush girl, but I love this because it's more bronzy, so it goes very well when you're trying to go for a bronze look. Taking the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, we're just going to use that upper pink for our lower lash line. blending it with a Sephora blending brush. Our favorite mascara as always, the CoverGirl Total Tees Mascara. It's the only mascara I used for this look. We're just gonna use for both our upper lash and our bottom lashes. Then we're going to take the EXO Beauty Radiant Highlighter in the color Aurora and using a Luxie Highlighting Blush, brush, not a blush, a brush, <laughs> we're going to work that all over our face. It's a very neutral, very nice highlight, like a natural everyday highlight and it blends with the skin so well. It doesn't look powdery or nothing. I love it. It's one of my favorite everyday highlighters to wear. And finally, taking our Jouer um, Lip Cream in Winter Rose. I really hope I pronounced that right because I always fuck it up. But <laughs> we're going to use that for our lips, keeping it with the pink 
theme. And that guys is the finishing look. So this guys is the finishing look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoy creating this makeup and I really love the eyeshadows that Jacqueline created for this palette. They're the bomb. The bomb, the bomb, bless this thing, the bomb. And I want to use this palette every day of my life. I'll probably do something more bold next time with more colors, but this is a great makeup look for spring or a nighttime look, maybe? I don't know. You guys tell me if you like it. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.